There he is, Dan Papa, social studies teacher, Jefferson Middle School. Good to see you. Good to see you, too. As Teacher Appreciation Week continues. Listen, you uh, have a terrific project. We're going to see a video in just a second, part of our classroom close-up series we do in cooperation with our friends at the NJA. Uh, project Stay Gold, what is it? Correct. Uh, more or less, it's a student awareness uh, program. We're actually calling it a student abolitionist movement uh, to abolish modern-day slavery and human trafficking. So the students have taken the initiative to do everything they can in, in, in their power as middle school and high school students to raise awareness uh, and to bring public attention to the issue of human trafficking. Well, Dan said it. Now let's look at it. He said it better than I could. Here it is. Today, one of the most appalling atrocities against humanity from the past is repeating itself yet again, modern day slavery. We must not be content to allow this re-emerging crime to continue in our world. My name is Luke, and I'm an abolitionist. My name is Katie, and I'm an abolitionist. My name is Nathaniel, and I'm an abolitionist. These young abolitionists have taken their anti-slavery crusade, Project Stay Gold, to the internet. Their new website features original videos about modern day slavery in America and around the world. It really surprised me the numbers of the people that are in slavery in the United States and that it, it even exists in the United States just blew my mind. Before we begin, I just want to give a little brief uh, introduction, actually. Uh, to how Project Stay Gold came about. Our so kickoff for our website work, launch and the launch of these new mean? videos was funded by a Pride in Education grant, um, which helped to fund the filming and the creation of the videos. Students want to inspire other schools to start their own Project Stay Gold, and they want to have a global impact. Who's responsible? The people of the world. We can end it. We, starting with us, starting with us kids. It's just not a known subject and topic. You wouldn't bring up talking about slavery at a dinner table. It's like makes people uncomfortable. If people know that there's slavery, then they'll go out and they'll tell friends and they'll tell people and it will slowly diminish. Project Stay Gold gets its name from a poem quoted in a book popular with teens. To stay gold is to stay committed to idealistic goals. The project began last year with an eighth grader. I couldn't really just sit around and let it happen because it's really just disturbing and it shouldn't be happening. Kate came to me and said, we have to do something about this issue. Our students have identified a global issue and the global issue is that there are 27 million slaves on earth today. 80% are children, our teenagers, and our college students. So what's happening here is that students are taking on the initiative to really rescue their generation, and they are speaking out on behalf of them. We believe that education is power. Americans are involved in modern day slavery because believe it or not, most places that they go or most things that they buy could have been uh, made or manufactured by slaves. I teach history in order for us to make history. And I believe with all my heart that the students in my classroom are history makers. We believe that the abolitionist movement is going to begin with our students inside our classrooms. I am a history maker. I am an abolitionist. For more information and to see anti-slavery videos, go to projectstaygold.org. It's amazing stuff. This young lady, Kate, started this. What happened was uh, I was teaching about <clears throat> slavery in America's past, and I made the connection to, you know, slavery still exists today. The United Nations estimates that there's 27 million slaves on earth today. And in, with my smart board in my classroom, uh, I used an interactive website, and right. I showed them the issue. And I said, maybe later on this school year, we could do a, a, a school-wide awareness campaign. Two months went by. I, I completely forgot that I even really said it. And Kate came to me, she's like, Mr. Papa, I was on that website, and, uh, and I, we just have to do something about it. Was it about, about human it. trafficking? Yeah, it was, it, was, it, was a web, it was an organization out of Connecticut that's on the front lines of the battle of fighting modern-day slavery. And, and the website inspired her. Um, Steve, here, here's, the, here's, here's what it is. Young people have a sensitivity to injustice. When a young person sees that someone is mistreating another person, especially a child, there's an anger that rises up within a young person to do something and to make a difference. And Kate 
among the other students that we had 80 students sign up this year in our school, 80 eighth graders to be part of this. And I, I believe that they are history makers and world changers. It's interesting. So many people talk about younger people as apathetic, hmm. disconnected, not caring, unconcerned. What do you see? I see the complete opposite. I, I, as I said, um, when, when I teach the Holocaust, the Civil Rights Movement, uh, modern day slavery, slavery in the past, I see a different level of engagement in my classroom, and it's because young people are sensitive to it. They cannot understand how one person could mistreat another human being, especially a child. I, and I appreciate what you're saying, and it says a lot about these kids, but how much of it has to do with, and I know you're going to be modest about this, how much of it has to do with the way you presented it? Uh, I, I believe that it, it could be part of it. Um, but, but again, I, I do believe in the innate uh, abilities within a young person to really uh, want to make a difference and want to make the world a better place. Young people tend to be idealistic, and they don't take no for an answer. As an educator, as a teacher, what do you get out of seeing in the eyes of these kids, the reaction of these kids, not just in that video, but what you see every day, this website, the intensity, the passion, the energy. What do you get out of it? Steve, it, it inspires me. I mean, it, it, I feel like the luckiest man in the world to walk in that classroom every day. Number one, to talk about America, American history, which I absolutely love, which is a passion of mine. Um, but then just to see the looks in their eyes and to see that they are history makers, I believe it's exactly what Abraham Lincoln said. Abraham Lincoln said the philosophy of education in the classroom in one generation will be the philosophy of government in the next. Mm. And, I, and, I, and I, I believe with all my heart that we are seeing um, a generation rising up and, and looking to make a difference. This project's alive. It is. And by the way, what is that right there? Uh, I, I brought this for you today. What is that? This, it says abolitionist on it, Project Stay Gold. We've, uh, we've printed these and our students are wearing them and we're selling them to, to raise funds and money. Bob, get a shot of this. Talk about it. Uh, an abolitionist is simply someone from the 19th century who fought to end slavery in America, the abolitionist movement. And that's what we're seeking to do, to, to revive and reawake the abolitionist movement um, regarding the issue of modern day slavery. Our, we, we, have, we have sold close to 2,000 of those in one year. The first, uh, this is part of our awareness program. Our, our program at school is simply this. Um, a few seconds left, go ahead. Our eighth graders go into the sixth, seventh, and eighth grade social studies classrooms. They teach the issue. They sell wristbands, they sell t-shirts, and they wear them, and it sparks conversation. This is exactly what we were all hoping for. Hmm. You know, one of your kids said, we have to do this. Yeah. Everybody says, the government needs to. Right. No, right. we have to do this. I said to my students, we cannot shout at the darkness, <laughs> light a candle. <laughs> and that's what they're doing, lighting candles. I'm proud of you. Keep it up. Thank you for this Keep opportunity. Keep them doing this. Absolutely. This is exciting. It is. Give us a book report on it later. All right. Absolutely. Okay, Thank you very much, this Steve. This is great.